star. When you're the star of your own life or the star of your own movie, it's just like, there's the cart. Homeless to hero, part five, right? <laughs> Here's the cart. These videos are kind of fun, for real. Um, and that's why, like, you got to get a mentor because if you are somebody who's... And, and to be fair, like, the only really state that offers this to get you money for free to invest in the people is California. I don't... Not one in Colorado. Not one in the United States. There's not one in the north pacific or something um so it's like but one thing what you realize when you do go inside stores and stuff like because i was like just inside of a store and i had two people i was like one lady was like hey what's your what's your horoscope right right because i was in a fun i'm in a fun mood right um that's one thing you can do if you are quote unquote homeless like get a phone or go to a the best thing don't don't listen to all these fucking people like oh go get a job or like Go do... It's like, no. The first thing you need to do is be happy. For real. So, my advice would be... My opinion would be... Go to a computer at your local library... And just watch funny stand-up comedy. 20, to, 20 minutes to an hour a day. Just do that, right? And just watch how how much your life will will change, right? Um, because, for instance, like... I, uh watch Kevin Hart this morning, right? And this is another this is a side note here and it's like it's for twenty minutes or forty five minutes and I feel so much better, so much happier. So but anyways, back to the whole library story. So I was at the library and it's like these guys are just trying to like like they get jealous. These guys get so jealous in their own life because they're stuck in their competitive state. But anyways I was just like I was like, hey what's up to to a girl, to another girl and I was like, hey, what's up? You know, little mama to another girl. And she was just like, and then, but anyways, they didn't answer or whatever. The girl told me the, the shirt was on the on the ground. And so I was like, that's where I like it at, you know, saying whatever I want to say, whatever the fuck I want to say. And then there's like, so then like, the security guard just comes out of nowhere and he's like, just approaches me to the door. And I'm like, what? Like, we were just having a conversation and nobody was offended or nothing. But these kids, if they're like under 20 years old or they're in this me delusion, it's like for some reason, like they just try to attack you. But if you are someone who's living on, living on quote unquote, you do deal with like, you got to realize you're going to deal with security bullshit all the time. And I think the best way to do it is just like, just have some inside jokes with yourself that you can like, you know, I can make the situation better so you don't get stuck on certain situations, right? Because most people, what they do, they get stuck with their, because of A, competition, and B, ego. So it's like how, again, then to follow up the question, how can you not get stuck, right? What is the solution to not getting stuck? And it's like, I think the whole thing with like the quote unquote homeless like bullshit is just like, again, so let me just focus on it real quick. It's like, um, so, uh, so obviously I'm a little bit like, there's definitely some emotions going on with that thing that the security guard, cause I just left the library. I'm over here. This is, I live right now in, uh, Glendale. California, which is right outside of Los Angeles. Um, if you guys have checked out the other videos, you would definitely or um, probably know that about this journey right now. So, whatever. So, it's like, again, have inside jokes with yourself. Like, you could have one, like, oh, well, just, you know, for one example, be like, well, security's not the way, you know, for me. Um, Security seems like a guy that sits down and eats donuts all the time, right? <laughs> because the guy was, like, really fat. Maybe probably unhappy. Probably pretty unhappy with his own life, bro. You know? If you, if you see, like... It's like... So that's just one example of an inside joke that will obviously help you guys just, like... Just be in a good mood, right? Just be in a good mood, you know? 
because you're always going to have like, even in life, it doesn't even have to be security. You're always going to have like, the thing is, if we didn't have ego, it wouldn't have to be that way. But for right now, it's like, there's always going to be people, right, that are just going to be jealous and hateful and it all comes from ego. And so, yeah. So the best piece of advice would be um, over here on this little back street, little side note here at the library and at water is what the place is called. And um, there's always just going to be these people. And when you're trying to better your life in some way, shape or form, they're going to definitely come out of the blue, right? So be prepared. Be prepared for those tests because they're going to be coming. Because I've been in a fun state all day today. Um, feel very good, like carefree. Like nothing in the world can bother me. And I find that people will do two things. A, if it's a guy, A, ho, ho, embrace it. And he'll be like, oh, man, I kind of want to have fun with you today, right? You just look so fun, right? Or you'll have another guy which will be real jealous, and he'll just be like, for whatever reason, like something will trigger inside of him. And most of the time, it's because like people lack something inside of them. That's why they try to attack other people. And then I'll probably say a third thing people will try to do is they'll try to bring you down to their level because they don't, they're not happy in their own life. Or they're just so used to bringing people down to their level because of their ego for so long. So it's like, um, yeah, but if you do deal with, like, bullshit situations like security, just be, just say shit, like, just laugh, just find, just find jokes. Like, find three jokes about security that you think fun. One joke I have, and who cares if, like, fuck all this offensive, like, fuck all that bullshit. Um, it's just like, fuck all that bullshit and just be like, hey, you know, that guy's a fat guy eating a bunch of donuts, right? Or like, or you could just have, and it doesn't have to be trashing. You have another joke like, yeah, I think security's, uh, you know, security belts are cool. And they're bling blinging, man, right? And you don't even, and it's just little shit like that, little inside jokes you gotta have with yourself that can be just fun and dumb. But what do they do? They help you, right? They, uh, it helps you just, just break. You don't get stuck in these, like, dumb problems that people will come across you. So you can move on to a better lane in your own life, you know. It's kind of like what Kevin Gates said. He was uh, grinding, right? Grinding, right? And grinding, right? And grinding, right? Obviously, I like this camera angle. Grinding, right? And grinding, right? But, yeah. But yeah, um, just, just, just again, you guys, I think, like I said, this will be the third time in the video, but it's a good reminder. Don't just have inside jokes with yourself, whether it's about security, whether it's where you're, you know, if you are on the street, you know, um, quote, quotes, just find ways, just find things to do that'll make you, one example is that, um, the other example is just... Just live it like it's your life. Like, walk around the place. Another thing that I like to do is just walk around and like it's your house. Like, everywhere you go is your house, right? Because you'll find it'll trigger people because people cannot behave. Like, think about it. You actually get a superpower for living quote-unquote homeless, right? Because you don't have all these responsibilities. You don't have all this bullshit that you got to pay for every month, right? Like, I'm in your neighborhood right now. Like, think about think about. Them. Think about how many assets or bullshit these people have that they're going to stress about every day. Listen, so just remember that. Because you guys are winning right now, right? Alright. And for real, always, always, always have fun. Peace!